Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Wednesdays. Wednesday. Ship with us on eBay and Poshmark. Welcome. Hi. How's it going? Sorry about yesterday. Sorry, not sorry. Not sorry. Oh, oh. Not sorry. We are a mess. So yesterday, right around this time, it's 4.18. <laughs> it was about 4 o'clock. I yeah. said to Dan, I'm like, so we could go home and film our shipping video or, and he or, was like, or, I was like, or we could go see Pearl Jam in Oklahoma that's three and a half hours away. If we leave right now, we can make the concert just on time. Guess what he chose? Pearl Jam. <laughs> Pearl Jam wins. So we went to Pearl Jam and we neglected all of our responsibilities. We did ship. We, we shipped did. three things, which I'll tell you about when we do our, where are those tickets I'll put them over here. Oh, I was going to tell them what we sold. But anyway, I'll add those into our total today. And... Uh, we shipped those things out. On the way. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. I can't like, what post office? Yes, on the way. And then we made it right at showtime. So yeah. the show started at 9 and we got to our seats at 8.45. Yes, it was perfect. And uh, yeah. unbelievably good seats too. Unbelievable. So I booked our hotel on the road and <laughs> we drove three and a half hours. It was so fun. Dan got all these crazy gifts from the band it was pretty fun you got drumsticks and a set list and guitar picks it was a really 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 fun time it was great so the message of today this video is brought to you by freedom yes <laughs> right we don't make a lot doing reselling but i don't know if you could put a price on just being able to up and go not right. have to ask for permission right. you only live once right and we're like what Gotta go. We're gonna go see Pearl Jam. Gotta go. Anyway, it's again, we just got off the road getting back here. Yeah. It's 420. We're gonna ship this stuff out. If we don't make it to the post office by five, it's fine. We've got a little scanning machine. Those count as official scans now. Yes, they do. So we are mailing out eight on eBay, three Lord, 10, on Poshmark, 11. and one Twelve. viewer sale. Hey! Twelve things going out today. Boom, All boom, boom, boom. righty then. Everything is really slow, I will tell you that. Oh, this is where Janice Joplin's from. Okay, uh, oh. that's Port Arthur, Texas, if oh. you're wondering. All right. Well, start shouting some numbers at me. 5189. 5189. So, anyway, we were driving. The drive isn't bad, it's just boring from Dallas to Oklahoma City. It's a long three and a half hour drive. Some of you said you live there. Who's very welcoming to us. Alright, 51.89. Um, 57.53. Thank you for the kind comments on both channels about us deciding to go at the last minute. Got it. Um, uh, 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 57.42. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, 5614. 614. 5614. Okay. Let me grab this 1541. Also, another good thing is that we had some drafts in the bank. So we actually listed last night from the hotel at one o'clock in the morning. Keeping it going. Everything's pretty slow right now, but it's steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, got Thank you. And uh, the, the rest are boxes, so you can come deliver those. So we had five drafts in the bank ready to go. So we were able to list and not lose our momentum. I will, uh, 4486 is a suit. And I will say that things are slow because probably because of the update. I don't understand why they're doing this all at one time. So our payments, our last three payouts didn't come. They finally did last night after we reported them missing. Check your payouts, people. And they're doing an update right now on eBay with more freaking specifics. Okay. Got it? Yep. Uh, 4122. I hope that's the number. 4122? Yes, because it's got returned. This is a coat. Yep, I got it. I see it. Okay. Um... And they're having eBay open this weekend. You can watch it online. So it's like all these things happening at once. I just don't know how eBay open's not going to be a complain a loser. Oh. Oh. Alright. 
we sold this thing that keeps trying to jump off of our shelf all the time. Like in the middle of the night, it crashes down. This little people did not want to be on that shelf. I'm so glad we sold it. I don't even know what it is. Okay, and then fo 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 five. We have an amazing bolo in this video, so definitely stay tuned for that. I mean, pretty jaw-dropping, actually. It's the second eBay thing we're going to list. I'll show you. And then re some really good sales. Some steady high-dollar sales from low-dollar purchases. Of course, our stuff from, you know, Eileen Fisher and Sport Coats and all of that is selling. But I have two bolos to share with you that were low-dollar sales and, I mean, low-dollar purchases and high-dollar sales. So, excited about that. Okay, and then uh, a hat and a plush in Z. In Z, of course. I know, Z. I know. Thank you. And the plush is the snuggle bear. Okay, which one, what size? It's only the one? only one left. Okay. I don't know what's happening with the printer. Also, my MacBook broke. It's broken. It just will not boot up. So I had an appointment at the Genius Bar, but we skipped it because we went to Pearl Jam. It's really hard for me to do my work without my computer, so I'm hoping that... I do have Apple Care on it, but it is just broken. And it's broken a couple of times. I think I got a lemon when we first got it. I, I, I have had it almost four years, but that's a long time for a computer, but I still would prefer it not to be broken. So I'm still working from Dan's computer, but it'll be fine. Uh, I'll get started packing up our viewer sale. This is, and if you guys ever see anything, we don't do hauls that much, but when we do, if you see anything you want, odds are we haven't listed it yet because we do the hauls first. So let us know if you want it. Our good friend Christy wanted this Betsy Johnson dress, and I can see why. It's adorable. It's vintage. It's the pink tag Betsy Johnson, which is pretty desirable. We got this at the bins. I'll show you what the pink tag looks like. I think I showed you in the bins video, but in case you didn't see it, this, this line of Betsy Johnson is really, there you go, really good as far as um, resale value goes. I did lint roll this, Chrissy, but you might need to get at it again because it's picking up everything. It was sitting by this Angora scarf. Just letting you know, this one right here. So I'm gonna keep lint rolling it. Anyway, Christy is one of our biggest supporters and cheerleaders and we're so thankful to have her on our channel and she offers great insight and she travels speaking of freedom woo! she's got it going on she's a reseller and she travels pretty cool she uses a fulfillment service um i don't want to get into it because i don't know all the details but there are ways to do this if you want to like live in a rv and drive around the country it's like the best thing ever it's my dream so she's very inspirational to us in that way. I said, this is great that we're doing the Freedom episode and get, sending something to Christy. Oh, right. She's the freest of us all. For real. Such an inspiration. Okay. We're going to put this in a bag and then put this in a flat rate envelope to get it to her on time before she leaves for her next destination. Yes. Yeah, so if you ever want anything from our hauls, I was telling them, just contact us on Instagram. I think we're the hustle couple over there. Um, the underscore hustle. The couple. underscore hustle couple, not to be confused. I think, I think that's what it you is. You all find us. You'll see our picture. There's an underscore in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we're really great at self promotion. <laughs> oh, no. I think it'll go. It's just really poofy. Hot dog it. Oh, it's right here. Where's her label? It's already on the envelope. Oh, you put it on the back. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's where it goes. I always put it on the front. Well, Wait, okay. have I been doing it wrong? There is no wrong. Oh. There was an eBay memo that went out that said they're lowering their priority mail rates again. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, okay. 
And the payout issue got fixed, supposedly. I told people to check their payouts. Yeah. Because... We were missing three. Yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chrissy. Yeah. And anybody that buys from us, you don't, absolutely don't have to. But we always appreciate it. This is this is like a direct sale, and I will put it into Vendu as such. Vendu now has that option. Oh, fancy. Great. So we didn't even have to list this, Betty. I told him if they ever see something in a haul, odds are we haven't listed it yet. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so just let us know what you need. <clears throat> All right. All right. Ah, oh, I should say the brain. I keep <laughs> every day. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're doing Poshmark. Yep. This is a Kanali suit or a sport coat. Sport coat. Sport coat. It's oh, nice. this is very nice. Yes, it is. Um, I think this sold for seventy-five. I wrote it on the back here. Uh, 70 so for $70 we had it listed at 150 uh, I will bring it in and show you if it's yeah it's accessible right yep Canali's a really yeah. really good brand there you go if you if you find it in the wild this is a uh, like alpaca or something it's got some kind of natural fiber in it it's really nice and 70 bucks on Poshmark. We love selling sport coats on Poshmark. And we are likely more inclined to take a lower offer on Poshmark. If you want a sport coat, come buy it on Poshmark. Because uh, the they, the customers, by and large, can't return for fit. And a lot of men buy sport coats without knowing their actual size. <laughs> so we have, right now on eBay, we have seven returns. And many of them are sport coats. It's just part of doing business in menswear. Yeah. But we love it on Poshmark because then they can reposh it. I'm not saying they get stuck with it. Right. But we don't get the return. And we'll take a lower offer all day. 70 bucks? What'd you pay for this? $4.99. <laughs> so even though we had it listed for $150, somebody was gonna give us $70 for something we paid $4.99 for, and they're not gonna return it. Buy. Good. Riddance. Good. Buy. And it's beautiful. Yes. They shouldn't return it. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous coat, and they could definitely resell it for more. But that's not our business, right? Our business is just like getting stuff out the door. Okay, next are this set of cookie cutters. Girl, I don't know. Where I just, I cross-listed this because there wasn't selling on eBay. I don't know, it came in like a junk bag or something. They're okay. star cookie cutters. We paid 47 cents for them and they sold on Poshmark for really $5? $5. $5. Mm -hmm. Again, out of our house, right? Yep. Boom. Bye. This is Poshmark. Eh, it's fine. Do you want to use a padded from the postal service instead? Yeah. Uh, is that rude? No. No. We don't make the rules. We do not make the rules. I mean, whatever. It's gone. We've had those cookie cutters a long time. That's the, the power of cross-listing, though, and they sold. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the last one on Poshmark is this Eileen Fisher Velour Black Pants. And uh, you guys told me to cross-list my Eileen Fisher. Thank you for those of you who chimed in. I did, and they're selling. There you go. Because I heard that Eileen Fisher didn't move on Poshmark, but it does. Mm -hmm. And these sold for $51. That's pretty good. That's basically what we get for them on eBay. Yeah. We don't have to pay promotions. Yes. All right. That's all of the posh marks. I don't know how we're going to shift this thing. I don't even want to think about it right now. <laughs> all right. The next thing is a band tee. Godsmack 2012 Mass Chaos Hailstorm Black Concert Band T-shirt, rock metal. This was marked 50 cents, so I'm sure it came from the bins. It definitely came from the bins. We buy these. I don't want to say this is vintage because it's not technically vintage, but like 2012, right? 10 years ago? Yeah. We're going to buy it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it sold for $17.95. Going to Port Arthur, Texas. Awesome. We particularly like... 
I don't pick up every single band tee, okay? So you gotta kind of know. First of all, I kind of only pick up stuff where I know the band, I know that band. Yeah. And I pick it up if it's like metal looking. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, like skulls and lightning and like- Flames. Flames. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. That's okay. So uh, ten ounces. But there's a ton of bins. We went to the y'all. We forgot to tell you this. Oh no! What we forget? We went to the bins for five, maybe six hours yesterday. Oh yeah, we were at the bins. So we got home. This is me coming home from the bins. We stopped in the grocery store to get stuff for dinner, and that's when I pitched the Pearl Jam idea. We had <laughs> been at the bins. Oh all day since 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. or whatever once we got back here and then got right back in the car <laughs> with all the stuff in the bag <laughs> we had the whole didn't car even full. unload the car <laughs> the whole car was full of bins i swear to goodness oh, and the light board that i bought for 15 dollars. and we <laughs> had to go pick up stuff from an auction and it was just it was the most like us thing <laughs> that we could have done for all right sure so, look for a bins haul coming soon. We spent a hundred bucks and filled up the car. Yeah, I need, I need, again. Check your bingo card. I need a baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the bolo I was telling you about. You want to talk about? Yeah. This hat. You bought it. I did. I, this is a hat from The Boring Company, which, if you don't know, is one of Elon Musk's companies. And it's the company that he started to build the Hyperloop, which is the underground magnetic transportation I tunnels. I have never heard of this. I would have never known in one million yeah. years. Uh, he also did a bunch of weird um, uh, promo stuff. They released a limited edition flamethrower that sorry. you could buy <laughs> as like a fundraising thing. No, seriously. Like, and it sold out so fast. And so okay. I just, I saw the hat sitting there and I looked it up and I was very surprised by the comps um, because right. this is supposedly... The first uh, first edition, the original printing of this hat. Printing. Or whatever you call it. Oh, I thought that was the official term. No. I, mm. So like I said, I looked it up and the comps were great. So I bought it for what? Okay, one ninety nine. Yeah. And it so turn your heads to the computer if you're working so you can see the logo so you don't miss it if you see it at your thrift store. It sold for eighty nine ninety six <laughs> for a hat. Yes. All right, come on in. Turn your faces. Here we go. The Boring Company. I thought he was buying this for James <laughs> over at my Boring Reseller Life or whatever. Right. I really thought you were buying that as a gag gift for James, and I was like, oh, he'll love that. And then Dan was like, no, it's worth a lot of money. I was like, oh. Caveat, though. Uh, there are some Boring Company hats that sold for much less. And like I said, I copied a sold listing that was this brand, the Sportsman brand. So I don't know if that is... And it has the Velcro um, hook and loop uh, adjustment on the back. It's not a snapback. So I don't know if that's what makes the difference or how you can tell the first editions from the other ones. But Cool. Yeah. So the title is The Boring Company Hat Limited First Print Sportsman Black Baseball Cap Elon Musk. And yeah, $89.96 plus $4.99 shipping. Wonderful. Are we still yeah. first class? Yeah. Yep. Going to New Jersey. I love those bolos that are just like. You would never expect it. Yeah, you would <laughs> never expect that. We were driving home today and I'm like, we just sold a hat for $89. And I was like, oh, the boring company one? I had no idea it was even listed that high. It was crazy. So even though our sales are slow, sometimes having this kind of stuff in your store. These little bolos here and there, when they sell, it helps out your sales a lot. For sure. All right, this is something that we got for free and uh, for my mom. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Uh, it's out for dinner, which we don't normally pick up at the thrift, but when it's free and it's new, it tags. Right. You know, she gave us a lot of these shirts, and every single time I list them, we're getting through them. Yeah. Every time I list it, it sells within a week. Yeah. And everybody's like, you can't sell that brand. You can sell this brand. You can. Um, this is Alfred Center Petite Medium. Petite Medium. That's why I, I put it all out. 
Autumn Harvest Melange Floral Two for Top Blue Nude. Two for. It's called a two for, and it has like a built-in necklace situation. It sold for fifteen dollars and four ninety nine shipping, and very quickly it sold really quickly. So why not? Hey. I don't really look at brand as like, oh, you can't sell that brand. Okay, we gotta figure out how to sell. What do they pay for shipping? I don't it's, know. And can we just does like she give it really away? Go? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I said it's missing Anna or Elsa, so I substituted Cinderella. Okay, perfect. It's in the listing that way. Perfect. So um, I'm it, trying to. Eight ninety nine for shipping. Okay, perfect. We have those boxes from outside. Where's better. the rest of going? Illinois. Mm. I wonder. Yeah, try to reach for. A reach B, maybe? Uh, it's 927 in an A. No, it's too big for A. I think. Where's A? Hmm. Yeah, look, this is an A. Oh, that's not an A. Huh? Yeah, because it's, it's like, what, almost 11 inches? Yeah, it needs to be like a shoebox. That would be perfect. Okay. This thing, little people think, sold for $11, and I don't care, and I just want it done. Here you go. Okay, I'm gonna put these in like a padded. All right, I'm gonna just wrap this thing up in bubble wrap. Uh, anyway, y'all, I'm trying to give you this lesson here. What's the lesson? Mm, I'm trying to think of how I want to say it. <laughs> so, like, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't pick up Albert Donner at the thrift. Because the profit is is low, right? Fifteen dollars is not where we want to be with our average sale price. But if someone's going to give it to me for free, I'm not going to scoff at it because I hear other resellers saying I can't sell it. I'm going to look and see if it's selling and look at the comps. And I did that, and they are selling. So then I listed it. That's the issue. It's not about brand for me or Dan. It's about is it selling? Is it sellable? And the new attack, Albert Dunner two for tops, I looked up were selling. So I'm like, well. I'ma list it. If I have inventory in my house that's sellable, it's getting listed. And on the converse, if it's not selling, then I don't list it, even if it was free. It goes to the goodwill to somebody else. the lesson that took us a good three years to learn. We used to list anything and everything just because it was free. Gotta give you, gotta, gotta okay, now I could spend a couple of minutes to cut this box down, but I don't think it's going to make a difference in the rate. Yeah. So. It's all about weight. Once you get into priority territory, it's about weight. So this is one pound. We're we're not quite to two pounds, so it's gonna get charged that one to two pound rate. Yeah, one pound what eleven? One pound eleven. Yeah. Okay, and this box is seven point seven point four, five point three, fifteen. Uh, so what I'm saying is like the size of the box doesn't really matter yeah. in priority land in first class it matters so you can get it under a pound okay all right michael Kors. it's this way this too is, big for this box yes this is a coat there is a flaw we sold it once before it did get returned this is going through global shipping there are special instructions from the buyer on how to ship this uh so you know, we're just gonna <clears throat> we're just gonna do our best. They paid twelve ninety nine, so I think you know, I think it's gonna have to go into like this medium flat rate. Right? Yeah, that's I think that's fine. So that's thirteen eighty three, so we're that's, about eighty four cents. Right, but it was something this I'm so sorry you guys. This sold for eighty nine ninety six. Okay. And they paid a ton of money to global shipping, I'm sure of it. There's no real way for us to check how much they paid eBay, but I'm pretty sure it was a lot. Okay, so I just wrapped the metal clasp here. Do we want to try to put this in a Isn't one of these, like, big? 
kind of like a big old honker of these. Is it this? What is that? Or maybe it's over yep. here. Okay, cool. Perfect. It's going international. Has suffocation warnings in every language. <laughs> <laughs> we keep all the plastic from our Amazon stuff. All of it. Oh, it does stick. I see. Yeah. Okay. Work your magic. person likes this coat um, they're very specific about which coat they wanted I don't think it's the exact one they wanted but it's close uh, I don't know it's global shipping so normally returns aren't a thing normally eBay takes care of it we have had a return before though so I can't say that as a blanket statement Okay. global shipping meaning GSP all of our heavier stuff goes GSP medium flat rate yep and I do need to remember to write that phone number on the box. For whatever reason. There you go. Okay. Do you want to do it right now? No. This is from the Colorado Bins. We had three of these, and they have all sold. I think I won the competition. This was my competition. I had a set of three of these. Yep. I think I definitely won. This is the... Snuggle Bear Hand Puppet. Oh, yeah, Puppet. Rust Berry, Lever, Snuggle Bear, Full Body, Puppet, 15 inch, Plush, Vintage, 1986, new a tag. I, I didn't put it as new, I put new and it has the tag, but the tag does have some wrinkles, so I always note that. Uh, I want you guys to know that this little, bit, this little buddy sold for $44.95. Nice. These Snuggle Bears, if they have the tag and like this little rust up here, they can do pretty well. I think we've probably made I don't know, over $100 on the three of them. I think you're right. Profit. Smells a bit like an old lady. <laughs> no shade. Where's your little scissors? I don't know. Hmm. There's a thing I want to cut off. Yeah, they, uh, they disappeared. Oh, resourceful. That's all gone. They love watching you shove the plush into the polys. I'm trying to be nice to the tag. <laughs> hey, guys. $44.95 for a plush. It's so good. Sometimes you just, you know, you want it delivered. Yeah. I get that. Okay. Here we go. Okay, the next thing is another sport coat. Woo! Woo! Love selling the menswear. So, you know, it takes just, it takes about twice as long to list. So, like, in the time you can list two t-shirts, you can list one menswear. However... You make more money on it. That's so, right. Uh, this is the Xenia Trofeo. We love this line of Xenia. We'll yep. show you the lo logo. Uh, men, size 44 long, designer sport coat blue, black hounds tooth, sold for $50. It is nice. It is very nice. We sold two really nice sport coats. Mm -hmm. So if you guys aren't familiar with Xenia, this is what it looks like right there. I'm trying to focus on it. There we go. Okay. And then the Trofeo is... Trofeo. I don't know what that means, but it's a good line. Does it mean travel? It might. It might be a traveler. I'm gonna look at it. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that thing. Hey Siri, what does trofeo mean? 
There you go. Here's what I found. Oh, a trophy. Oh. A prize. Okay. It's probably like the gold trumpeter. It's like the same. Gotcha. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose you didn't know that. Hmm. Now you guys know. All right. This is a nice worker. Wow. They got a deal. Happy to give people deals. Because look, we paid $5.99 for it, and they're paying $50. Which they could never buy. I mean, retail, this is probably $800. More. More. But we're happy because we're making money. This is a huge mindset shift for us in the last year or so. Before, we would have been like, man, we only got $50 for that. Yeah. But now we're like, we turned $5.99 into a $50 sale. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. Uh, where's it going? Georgia. So that needs to go to Rage. This is coffee. Whoever said whatever's in here. <laughs> it's coffee. For my Long Island as coffee. Trolled. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Okay. And the last one is a St. John women's size 14 Santana knit black sleeveless gold button up back shell. Yeah. Here's the thing. Price it for what it is worth. Okay. So this is a shell and we sold one the other day for $35. However, this one is much nicer and it has branded gold buttons down the back. It has... It's um, a Santana knit. It is. It's just nice. It's a nicer piece. Yeah. Mm. I need a baby wipe. I need a baby wipe. I, I need a baby wipe. Okay. They're like they're literally right here. Uh, this is going just down the street. And uh, to Dallas, like like really just down the street. I say that when it's like in the DFW area, but this is. I think this is really close. It is. It's one zip code away. Yeah. So the St. John tags are white and they get kind of grimy, but if you take a baby wipe to them, it, it does come off and it, it's a much nicer presentation. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You can write the phone number on that box while you're waiting. Yeah, that's a good idea. So we don't forget. For some reason, this lady wanted us to write her phone number. We don't do any like weird scammy things with phone numbers, but she just wanted us to write it on the box. So we're like, okay, we can do that. I don't think there's any way to scam us doing that. Right. First when I saw the message, I was like, oh no. And I'm writing it exactly as she put it into the message. Okay, good. Put it on both sides. What I'm doing right now takes like a hot second, but it just makes all the difference. Who wants a sweaty tag? Because when you dry clean stuff like this, it doesn't actually clean, you know, dry cleaners don't actually like, it's not scrubbing it or anything. So I'm just like. Okay. There you go. Who wants a sweaty tag? Nobody. Nobody. See, it's coming right off. Nobody! Get yourself a <laughs> case of baby wipes, people. <laughs> Who was cracking up? I think it was Amanda. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I need a baby wipe. <laughs> I mean, oh, I know what that is. I need oh, okay. to take those down because I gave them to an actor. Oh, right on. Y'all, I have a commercial tomorrow. It's super exciting. That's why we went to the bins. We got all these clothes for the commercial. We didn't know we were going to be in the bins six hours. Yeah, I had no idea. Like, what is up? I didn't even know when we got in the car. I was like, what? <laughs> How did it become four o'clock or whatever it was? Three o'clock. Three or something, yeah. Dan was like, I don't know, but I got to go to this auction before <laughs> it closes. He's been doing some online auctions. Mm -hmm. I got to... Got a little system set up. I, I don't I don't play with that. <laughs> but he was he was all up in it. 
in it. Buying all this stuff. And then half the guy, we pull up, the car is full of bins, okay? We have all the Ikea bags stacked to the ceiling. Literally to the ceiling of the car. Yep. He pulls out to get this light board. I'm a theater person, lighting person, light board. We know what it is. We didn't buy something unknown. We right. knew what we were buying. And um, <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, hold on, let me pull out. It's on a pallet. And we were like, I'm sorry, what? It's <laughs> like, yeah, it's... It's on the pallet. So he gets his little forklift. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, what did you buy? We cannot <laughs> fit it in the car. He put a lot of stuff. Well, it, to be fair, there was two big things it was the light board and there was like a laser printer which i knew about but then there was also this a bunch of boxes of miscellaneous i have no idea what's in those boxes we don't know but they were all part of the lot so we had to rearrange some stuff in the loading dock it was kind of awkward this guy just sat there on his forklift watching <laughs> us cracking up because everything kept falling out of the bags all these clothes were like tumbling onto the <laughs> ground i was like this is this is a comedy of errors. Yeah. Okay, I'm much happier with this presentation. Okay. I didn't. T I don't. I guess I did. It sold for seventy five, which is why I'm taking such care with making sure. Okay. There are no sweaty tags. No. You want No, but I don't want to put that in there. Can we put it in this? You can do whatever you want to do. Thank you. Let's check the weight. This one's kind of heavy. You have it in the system as first class. I know, but I'm saying with this bubble. Because mm. sometimes if it's 15, well. Oh, yeah. Boom. We're, good. We're way good. Can you? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 things. Not super wrinkled the thing. Yeah. Right, there you go. We also, with the St. John stuff we've been selling, and the other reason I'm taking good care is we're getting a lot of repeat buyers. Because people that like St. John, they like St. John. That's true. So I'm trying to make sure that we. Yeah. You know, do everything right in order to get some repeat buyers, hopefully. Because we've got a lot of it. Dan and I kept finding tape measures at the bins yesterday, and we picked them all up. Don't you worry. Oh, nice. The what? Fisher Price thing's only eight eighty five for the shoe box. Yes. See, I told you the size of the box doesn't matter. I mean, it kind of matters if it's like over eighteen inches or something. I'm just like a crazy mess. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not actually that sorry, though. <laughs> I feel like I should be sorry. Nah. Meh. I gotta go to the golf store after this. I gotta go shopping for golf wear. I have never shopped for golf wear in my life. We're gonna see what happens. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. All right, ready? I'm ready. Godsmack t-shirt is up first. Godsmack. So I'll put in both, so it'll be 15 sales today. I didn't put them in yesterday, we just left. Boring company hat. Alfred Dunner. I'm so glad this thing is out of our house. It's there creepy. It kept falling on its own. I would like put it in there very securely. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I know. What the heck? Uh, this is the Michael Kors jacket. Oh, that's there you go. Thank you. The 
snuggle bear puppet. Zania. J. Crew Zania. Mmm. Mmm. Must have forgotten to <laughs> the, the J. Crew out of there. It's weird. Whatever. Yes. And the St. John. All right. All righty, friends. We'll be back with the profit number in just one second. Bye. I feel so weird over here. <laughs> okay. So here's our... Oh, I can make this big somehow. You can just hit the maximize button. There you go. Okay. So for the last two days, we sold 15 items, 739 in sales, and 424.77 in profit. Sweet. So we made our $200 a day goal. We did. But yesterday, we only sold $90 of profit. Oh, so I'm just showing you that you can't just look at one day and be right. like, ah, oh, my sales suck. <laughs> because the next day might make up for the previous day, etc. True. And then if we look at our spam risk, if we look at our, uh, you know, what's it called? Month to date, right on target here, $4,490. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something. Okay. Can you see from there? I mean, I'd have to get real. I'd have to get closer. So, if you want to do a thing, like a a thing that you do a private sale on, like Facebook Marketplace, where it's not like on Facebook, you know what I mean? Like right where off the, the where, books, where the transaction isn't done through a platform. Yeah. Yeah. So, say you do that. So you go here and you create a new item, and you're like, item. Fly in here. Yeah, fly in. So you do all this, and you fill this out, right? And then you click save. And then you go here. See these three dots? See how it says not listed, not listed, not listed? Yes. But go here, and you can mark it as sold. Oh, cool. Okay. And that's where you can put in all to keep your books. Right. Okay. And then I had another person ask me, so let's look at this win by Chaz Dean. I don't know. So say I mark that. I'm answering question real quick. Right. Say I mark that it sold on eBay, but it actually sold on Poshmark. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I go back yeah. into Poshmark okay. and I would copy the link from Poshmark and I would say mark is listed and I would copy and paste the link from the sold listing here. It will populate and then I would go to eBay and I would go delist the item. I know this sounds crazy. When and you then would go delist, you would go mark as unlisted, right? Well, if it, no, because it doesn't actually take it down. When it's sold. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. When something's sold on Vindu, it assumes it's already taken down. So it does not delist. Oh, I see. So I would go here, I would delist it. Okay. And then I would go back to my Poshmark because I had put it as listed and I would mark it as sold. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. And then okay. all of the info transfers over. Cool. Hopefully that's know. helpful. It was much easier for me to explain it in person than to try to like type. Yeah, for sure. Type out whoever asked me that question. Hopefully that's helpful. I mess up. Off the top. That's why I know how to do it. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. And catch up with us on the other channel at 7.30, where we'll be live listing on eBay. <laughs> Yawn. Bye.